All right, Warriors. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> you thought I, I lost my voice chakra. <laughs> hey, let's move on with this. Let's talk about the narcissist clown chakra. Yeah, all that fucked upness that they got. All of a sudden, they're enlightened. Yeah. Hey, watch out for them. That spiritual narcissist, that that virtuous, that that mm -hmm. yeah, that's a that's a little nar that that little narky right there is a histrionic. That one got a plan for the long game. You feel me? Yeah, that one's hunting you down for a lifestyle for the end. E end, e end. Yeah, let's take a badass walk because we need to talk about red flags that, that are consistent at least with all the narcissists. You see, not all narcissists are sociopaths or psychopaths, but eventually, see, I believe, this is my opinion, and, and just by observation and seeing it in family, siblings, and frenemies, right? And what I've noticed is this, they slide back and forth between all those spectrums, between all the levels. And so it, I found this to be true. Sociopaths and psychopaths are all narcissists. But not all narcissists are psychopaths or sociopaths. It's when they get their ass handed to them, when the player gets played, yeah, that's when they begin to evolve into a more aggressive, if you will, posture. They start hearing voices, you see. Kind of start shadow boxing. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Five seconds, man. Let's do a, a breathing exercise. Let's breathe in deep and then release slowly. In that that one motion. Okay? Instead of holding our breath, right? Five seconds. Let's do this. Release slowly. All right. Woo. Feel a little tingly, did you? That means you held your breath too long, fool. <laughs> Don't go blacking out. <laughs> hey, look, narcissists red flags that we need to really, really pay attention to. Otherwise, it's going to give you a putazo again. It's going to be, it's going to bitch slap you. Don't ignore it. And, and this is what kind of the things that I've paid attention to that most narcissists do. And, and it's, once you start paying attention, it's like they they talk shit. They talk shit under their breath and then act like they didn't say shit. I ain't say nothing. Fucker. What'd you say? Nothing. I ain't say nothing. <laughs> and another is they can't let you finish a story without them being the bigger victim or the overachiever did better than you. If not, because they know you, and you know them like that, you know what I'm saying? Well, then they'll have to brag on someone else they know that did it better than you, or was more victimaristic than you. The thing of it is, is the disruptious. You see, it can't be about you. Ever. Another thing is, they walk ahead of you. They walk ahead of you, they, it, not alongside you, not behind you, always in front of you. And it's almost like they find it entertaining to purposely lose you in public. Leave you behind to see if you panic, to see if you go looking for them, to needing a, a sick validation, right? Do they got you like that? They'll probably even share it your most embarrassing moments on the world wide web on the interweb and you're supposed to take it as a joke but twist that and it's all of a sudden not fair you should have more understanding than that you know better you see warriors they don't like it when you reverse narcology that this is why we're sharing these red, the, the, these common denominators, these red flags, these traits. 
And look, they also blame their entire childhood on other people. And that's why they have these toxic behaviors. You even say that. I'm a product of my environment. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. None of it is their fault. They don't like sharing things. But they happy, 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 happy to take yours. And you know what? They don't even, they don't mind sharing your stuff for you. They have fantastical ideas. They would rather also impress total strangers, even in front of you, in an exaggerated way is what I mean, on purpose, and neglect their own, their own family. Now, the most obvious is that their words don't ever match their actions. And, and you're just supposed to go along with it. And if you don't, this is something that all narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths share. And for some reason, uh, they can't control it. You catch them. Now, some catch themselves quicker as this, but for the most part, it's a knee-jerk reaction that they can't escape. They can't, it, it, they can't elude it. And that is the stare. It's like a predatory stare. And it screams, I'm going to get back at you. And if you can catch them doing it, they let the cat out the bag. But what they're hoping is, you, don't, you didn't see that in the stare. It's kind of like an intimidation scare. You, you ever seen a cat stare down a bird off a tree? Just hypnotizes it and it chatters. Imagine the narcissist talking shit under their breath and doing the stare down. This is them psyching themselves out, justifying, watching and observing their next IT intended target. Once they've identified and justified, you turn into a TI, the targeted individual. And you have to understand that when a narcissist is being nice, they're going to start giving gifts as part of the love bomb to win your trust. These gifts have motives. And you'll catch that with that shitty smirk. It's not a smile. It's almost like forced. Like <laughs> or hidden in that ever so, I don't like hugging, but I'm going to bring myself forth because it's for the cause. Because I need something you got. And it, it's kind of like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and check this out. They're shapeshifters. You can see them as they work a room. Or as you've been in other situations, whether a restaurant, a bar, club, friend's house, employee party, at work. Uh, just talk, talking in the parking lot without others and then talking to them with an audience. You can see a shape shift in their personalities because they don't own one. They don't own one. So they're very adaptive and so they shape shift. They're like chameleons. Some people call them chameleons. Or you're a character. Yeah, which one? Their characters are legion. And what fucks them up is when they can't find the right one to personify. It interests you, and they get impatient. And you'll see them throw an adult tantrum when they can't figure you out. Some can't help but tell you. What are you looking for? Oh. <laughs> or they'll mumble it. You're such a pain in the ass. What do you want? Mm-hmm. What'd you say? Nothing. Nothing. And this one is... A telltale that freaks freaks you out and not many of you have experienced it but if you have you, you'll never forget and that is those individual narcissists that are so 
desperate to be you, that they take on your life stories right in front of you in the conversations with an audience that was there with you and everybody's catching it and you're going the fuck and then you front it you weren't there dude i was there you weren't there that's my life story shut up (laughs) yeah 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 Yeah, it's his it's his man (laughs) yeah i was just borrowing it man and everybody's looking like all kind of fucked up what just happened y'all yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they act strong. They can act strong and at the same time immediately play the victim. And most of them are trying to get away with, well, that's just who I am. You know that. <laughs> that's why you love me. That's why you love me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all. Check this out. I'm thinking about starting a restauranto on the beach line. And... It's going to be called Chico's What the Fuh? Like that. Chico's What the Fuh? Uh Uh-huh. I haven't set a price margin on it yet, but it's chicken, beef, and veggie Fuh. Look, it's it's homemade. See? And so... And the way you order it is instead of having having to remember what flavor flavor, you just call it by the color. I want the yellow. I want the red. I want the green. Because one's chicken, one's beef, one's veggie. See? Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah. And all I have to do is boil water. That's it. And look, I even made a sign. Chico's. What the fuck? And be recognizing condoms and condiments is so separately. I want to keep everybody safe. <laughs> hey, y'all, let's go over some big mistakes. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Look, look, look. Chingona's mistakes. Come on now. Constantly talks about their exes. Oh, my exes live in Texas. And I think I got one in Tennessee. Refuses to eat anything but hot dogs. The hot dog gobbler. (laughs) Go collecting that DNA with them chesticles. Allergic to garlic. Vampiro. The vampira. Yeah, yeah. A blood sucker. Copied their bio from a used car website. Check this out. Good condition. Slightly scratched. Reliable. Not visible evidence of accidents. And so you better run a Carfax because it might be a total loss. Just a rebuild. Mm-hmm. Got a salvage title. Clearance rack. <laughs> Thought I made this shit up, didn't you? Uh-uh. Right there, right there. Refuses to wear deodorant. Nasty, nasty. Stays at the blackjack table way too long because the drinks are free. Gets relationship advice from Dr. Phil. Mm-mm-mm. Serial complainer. <laughs> all right y'all get out there and own it and look i appreciate all your support the channel is growing and and i appreciate the input the remarks lifting each other up keeping it on topic keeping yourselves moderated you see warriors Narcissists can't stand because their voices aren't being heard. They don't like it when they're not in control. The very weapon created for narcissists by narcissists has now been weaponized to be used against them. 
support those content creators that are providing you genuine, authentic healing. And you know who they are. You can tell in their story. They're inclined more to show you and share with you the shortcuts to a path of healing to where you are self-motivated enough and empowered enough to now speak with confidence and walk in your life without the need to ever hear anyone acting like you're cheering for one side or another. In fact, you feel pity. It's a pitiful sight to see people wasting their fucking lives. There's nothing you can do about it. It's why you had to go through this walk by yourself and learn. You can't force feed this kind of awareness into anyone. It's a hell of a lesson. But once you know, you know. And that's why going over these red flags, it saves us. And we can one day maybe on the beach line share a nice bowl of what the foo from Chico's Restauranto. <laughs> hey man, thanks for your support. Y'all are badass. I really, really do. If, if you have any question with regard to how you can support the channel, Hit that down channel, that, that, that down bar, that, that thingamajig, and then don't, don't forget to subscriptions. It is a subscriptions when it's another warrior. Get out there and own it. Lead and live by example. You don't live in shoulda, coulda, woulda. That dog don't mind. Never goodbye, warriors. It's always until next time. Mando besos y abrazos. Namaste. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're going to skydive today. We're going to skydive. Leap sky of faith. Hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did 14, they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet, yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. We're going to be falling gonna at be 100, high. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay. Are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your All back. Right. What All right. made you want to skydive? What, what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go
idea who won the sword fight, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw. There you go. We'll have to do it again. <laughs> All right, when are you going to get your license now? I'm going to work on it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll well, be back. Yeah, see, right. Thank you for jumping with us, Scott. Oh, Lone Star. Do you have anything you'd like to mine. say? What an honor. Badass crew. I love it here. The hospitality is just phenomenal. Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> my brother. Oh, what a fun ride. Wasn't it awesome? Hey, man. Glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.